Hello, Cup Cutters, and welcome back to Wizard Training. Um, some new information. New. There's been some changes. Let me put it that way. Uh, first off, you're going to notice that my in inventory is completely empty. And but the Wizard Training World itself is still as it was. And I'm going to quickly explain that. The reason being is. It's been over four seconds. There you go. The Wizard Training World has been migrated onto the Cupcode server. And this is, you know, going back to what I was talking about last weekend, is there were some major changes coming. Uh, there is no longer a Cupcode server video. It will now just be the Wizard Training video. And we will be doing it from on the Cupcode server. The reason is. Well, this allows me to invite players onto the Wizard Training World to act as, I don't know, to act as apprentices or if they've got something they can teach me. Pretty much, you know, just so we can get a little bit more interactivity between me and the viewers. But this is how you get to Wizard Training. Um, I'm going to let you know up front and in advance that the Wizard Training World is a private world. No one is to be in the wizard training world at all, period, without my express permission. And quite frankly, the only time you're going to have that permission is while I'm actually on the server and playing in the wizard training world myself. Uh, the general theory idea here is that no one should be placing or breaking blocks in the wizard training world at all, except for myself. As this is for the wizard training video if you're invited in here you're invited in here to hang out with me and talk with me uh, yeah you might get to go digging or whatever but you're gonna be doing it in my presence on the video you're not gonna be in this world when I'm not playing online if anyone is caught playing in this world while I am NOT playing online I don't know the, the penalties could be severe you know it could be you could get in get banned or whatever but anyways because of migrating this onto the server, I, there's one thing I forgot to do, and I probably should have done it, is before I migrated it, I should have emptied my inventory into a chest, but I didn't. I did not do that. Um, so now, I do not have my spells that we made. None of them. Um, you'll also notice that I do not have my Ars Magica activated. So we're going to have to reactivate my Ars Magica. So we need a book. We're definitely going to need this. Yeah, it looks like it's turned. Let's pull it out there. There we go. Where's that darn? All right, where's the picture frame? Seriously. Can you go down here? I don't see it. And I think my video settings. Yeah, that's what they're done. I'm used to playing with my video settings up because I have to do that for the for the videos. Otherwise, some places it gets way entirely too dark. Where is that picture frame? There it is. Okay. Whew. I was like, wait a minute. I know I had it. Where'd it go? All right, we're going to take this guy and put him downstairs where he belongs. In there. Now we need a book. Don't have any books in there. Okie dokie. I need to make a book. We're going to need two, three. Three, damn it. I'm going to need a piece of leather, so that would be from here. Ooh, we're going to have to go get some more leather. And I think. Yeah, I don't need a book and quill. I just need a book. That's right. Seriously. All right, so there's our book, and we can put this back. Ah, yeah, yeah. Where is that? I think it's over here. It looks like it's getting dark. I have to be careful. Uh, I am having issues with the server, by the way. Uh, one of the issues that I'm having with the server, more specifically, is that um, <laughs> the database had an issue earlier where the database just wasn't connecting. So our 
LWC, which is what we use for locking chests and stuff, doesn't appear to be working. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, my doors to get in here should be locked so that nobody can get into this world, but they aren't. And, well, obviously, I don't have any protection set in this world. And, like, if I do this, see? Private. As you see, it's not doing anything. It, it, the command's not even working. So I don't know what's up with that. We are going to be working on that soon. I am going to try to get that fixed. But in the meantime, I'm warning you, do not take advantage of it. If you take advantage of it, it will be your tail, I promise you. I'll just go throw that in there. All right, so now we have our magic re-enabled, and unfortunately we are still level 1, so we're going to have to recreate our spells. Oh, God. At least, thankfully, it wasn't a whole lot of spells. Let's see. We got Shocker. Yeah, we'll need that. Spell Recipes, 387, Mage Light, and Magic Placer. So that must be the Distant Digging spell right there. So, which spells do we want to work with first? Put them all back down here. All right, we're going to take... We need this... There, let's take this one here, and that's the one we will craft first. Touch projectile dig. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, blank rune, ventum dust. We need ventum dust. Oh, am I out of? That's ridiculous. I'm out. All right, we're gonna have to go mining. Unfortunately, God, I'm just running out of all sorts of stuff here. Isn't that ridiculous? Okay, um, give me some iron here. Take that, yes. Put this book back over here because we need some stuff. There we go. Alright, I guess we're going to have to go mining this episode. There's not a whole lot of option on that one. Because we've lost all our stuff here. Um, I'm also trying out a new microphone this time. I do. I went out. Uh, we have a place store called nearby called McKay's. It is a used bookstore. If you have books that you're not reading or you're done reading them or whatever, you take them there and you can sell them to them. You're not going to get a whole lot. Sorry. But then they turn around and they sell them fairly cheap. So it's a, it's a really cool place to go and pick up books. Now, if you're looking for something like if you're looking for programming manuals, I would not advise. I mean, I guess you can find some good stuff there, but you're never going to find anything that's current and up to date. Uh, that is the unfortunate truth of the matter. So if you're looking for programming manuals and you want something up to date, I would not suggest going there. You are going to have to go to, you know, more larger bookstores. Like, I don't know. I don't actually go to bookstores myself, so I can't think of the name of them. Uh, Brookstone, I think. Uh, I don't know. But you'll have to contact some of the other bookstores and actually purchase the, the books brand new off the shelf. Whereas, if you're just looking for, I don't know, if you're looking for an old series, like it's like a fictional story series or something, then yeah, this is definitely a place that you might want to consider going to, because they'll be cheap. Oh, I should have brought a damn sword with me. God, that was stupid. Um, one of the things we, well, we go there for, let's just dig here. What we go there for is, you know, every night when I put my daughter to bed, not every night, but me, my, me and my wife take turns putting my four-year-old to bed. And so when it's my turn, I take her up there and I, I grab a book and I read the book to her. And, well, unfortunately, we are out of books. I've read almost every book in her collection. If not, I've read every book in her collection. So we have... And I'm not finding one on. So we stopped by there today to get some more books. And while we were there, I looked around and I saw, you know, finished explaining is McKay's is, doesn't just sell books. They also sell video games and movies and all kinds of hardware and stuff. So while we were there, I looked over by the video games and I saw this microphone sitting in the display case 
with a item price on it for five dollars and ninety five cents so I went ahead and purchased the microphone and brought it home and we are testing it out as we speak haha -ha! killed you with a pickaxe fool you fool well, that's not what I want so I'm testing out that microphone to see if it's gonna work I'm hoping that maybe it will because I use a headset for, for all my recording currently and while the headset does good I'd really like to get a little bit better sound quality if it's at all possible I'm not complaining about the quality because it doesn't take a whole lot to clean it up and make it and make it work but I, you can hear in the background I have a fan so if you turn your volume up you will hear that fan and I don't really like that. I'd like to be able to cut that fan completely out. You know, I, so I tried, you know, get the shotgun mic. You guys know that I, I bought that and tried it out. And it, well, it was crap, being quite frankly. It was too, way too sensitive for my usage. So now I have a regular microphone. And by regular, I'm talking like when you see people standing on stage and they're holding this little microphone to their lips. Well, that's kind of what I'm using right now. It's just a plain old microphone that you have to kind of be right up close to it on with. Now, I am not up close on it. I am actually sitting, oh, I'd say a foot and a half away from it. So it, it's not as close as it probably should be. Now, I am not here for iron, but I'll pick it up anyways. problems getting back out of here but hey should, I don't have ooh, 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 I didn't bring any wood I don't have any torches so this is very very dangerous hold on let me turn the light off in my, in my room so I can see better you guys might want to turn up your gamma or something I don't know it, it's dark down here not seeing what I want though redstone yeah we'll pick that up get some experience because as you see I've lost everything um, but that's because you know migrating from server from pro you know, uh, 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 think about what you're gonna say before you say it there dummy uh, no it's because of migrating from a one-player world to a server world uh, I my inventories did not get saved because well it was an entirely different world format Oh. Okay, well, there's nothing there. Gravel always scares me. Yeah. You can't see it, but I was sitting here holding block with a pickaxe. That doesn't work. At all. You can't block with a pickaxe. It doesn't work. bring any food either so that's gonna be an issue we're still not finding ventium that's what we're really down here for oh 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 we're gonna get away from you we're gonna leave you alone let's go back this way and we're gonna have to find our way out of here <laughs> Oh, there's nothing there. Oi. Oh, that's right, because I dropped down right around in here. Okay. So we need right here. There we go. Get out, boy. Get out the way. I suppose I could be picking up these torches and using them to light my way as I go, but I hopscotch with some torches. See, I've been all through this place. The problem is I get lost down here so easy. Alright, you know what? Screw this. 
we'll make torches. Sticks and stones make torches. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but torches light up rooms. How is that? Tarma root. Yeah, I could use that. Thank you very much. I got thank you very much. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hear you. I don't see you. dark down here. What is that? Blue topaz ore. Yeah, we could use that. It's not my Ventium, but we'll take it. Mm. And we'll grab that gold here while we're here, too. Might as well. No sense wasting it. Alright. This is blocked off here. I only blocked that off because it's stairs going up. I mean, I can actually probably should open it up to let myself go up it later, but... Oh, I caused an update. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I blocked that off to stop the water. Grr. Let's see. Check it out, man. Oh, I'm in a in a in a in a, a ravine. It looks like. Okay. Enemies can come from any direction at this moment. Chances are they'll come from above us. I don't really like that. I'm still not finding any damn Ventium. So we're just going to leave this room as it is. I'll go ahead and block it. So I guess we could go that way, but nah. Probably better off finding Ventium higher up in the, in the world anyways. So as I was saying pre on the last video, if you have any questions, I know you just saw that message that popped up. Um, here it is. If you have questions, send them an email. Mages96 at CupcoGamers.com. Uh, the reason that's being said on here is if you have a question about Ars Magica, if you have a question about me, about my job, about whatever, feel free to ask me. I mean, I'll. It doesn't matter what you, what question is. If I feel comfortable answering the question, I'm going to answer it. Um, more than likely, I'm going to wait and answer it on the video. That gives me something else to talk about. And so I'm not sitting here and be like, uh, mm, oh. uh, Today I'm doing that because, well, let's, quite frankly, I'm a little tired today. Um, I started playing, trying to record this video like a couple hours ago. 
but unfortunately we were having issues with the server and I could not get into this wizard training world because my doors were locked and they were protected and it would not let me reset the protection or even get through the door. So that was a major issue. And so I had to contact my host and the host com basically admitted that it was a known issue that they knew about it and they were working on it. So I had to wait for them to fix it. And that obviously took a while. So now here it is a couple hours later after I was supposed to be doing my recording. And here I am finally doing my recording. And so, yeah, and to give you a little pers perspective, it is 1.50 a.m. right now in my my time. It is almost 2 a.m. here. And I am just now getting to record my server videos. And uh, it, it's wizard training videos, uh, technically, but they are my server videos now because this is where I'm going to be recording the wizard training series at is on the server. And let's see, we're going to get lost right in here. But I'm fairly certain there's no Ventium in here because I've hollowed this out really well. I've been really good about emptying this place out of any ores that I see on the surface. So we may have to go find a new mine shaft. Kind of sucks, but. Ooh, while we have it. I have more coal. So I can make more torches. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We are almost. <laughs> we are starving, and, and I'm just walking around like, ah, da, da, da. let's go up and get something to eat. I believe I do have something to eat up there. Let's hope. Pretty sure I will. I don't know. But yeah, ask questions, I will answer them. And I'm, I'm going to answer them on this video. Um, this series will be done twice a week now. Uh, a, because I like doing it. B, because I'm getting rid of the cup code server video. And C, because it's one of the most popular videos I have on my channel. You know, got to do what you guys enjoy. Don't have to, actually. It's like like if, with, if you watch my Oblivion show... Uh, that is a throwback Thursday show, technically. I'm not getting a whole lot of views. At first, I was thinking about maybe ending the show, but now I'm going to keep the show going simply because, well, I enjoy playing the game. All right, here we are. Let's see if we have any food in here. Oh, we do. We have apples. Okay, we're good. We're good. There we go. Man, I've really got to get a farm going. That's that's one of the issues I have. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sleep, and that'll be the end of this show. And in the next episode, the same this week as well, we're going to go ahead and get a farm started. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.